obviously uh, with Canisil, our um, primary objective is to create shareholder value. Uh, we like to uh, maximize the potential for success in creating shareholder value and manage and reduce the risk involved in the process. Our focus is to explore for gold, silver, copper, lead, and zinc. Uh, we focus on multiple large high potential projects and uh, we're working in Mexico and British Columbia, Canada, both of them mineral rich jurisdictions uh, with great infrastructure and extremely mining friendly. The value drivers for Canisil are primarily mineral resource discovery. Uh, we do that uh, in, connect in conjunction with uh, working with high quality partners. Uh, we also um, focus on low dilution, low number of shares issued relatively, so that uh, our shareholders have high leverage to the value added and uh, created on the projects. The major strengths uh, for Canisil for building share value are our shareholder focused management team, our extensive 100% owned project portfolio, several projects within the portfolio which have the potential for hosting very large silver, gold, uh, copper, lead and zinc mineralized systems, our cooperation agreements with industry leading partners, MAG Silver and Pan American Silver, uh, relatively low number of issued shares. We have seven drill ready projects right now, five in Mexico and two in BC. And uh, we have significant committed expenditures on these projects in 2012 by our partners and by Cancel. We have a well recognized management team. Uh, they have extens extensive exploration experience and an extremely successful track record of discovery and success. Number of shares issued right now is uh, just over 66 million, fully diluted 74 million. The, uh, we have raised $18 million to date since inception. The average price of a share issued in Canisil to date is 27 cents. We have $1.1 million uh, working capital, uh, another 3.25 million on full dilution. The 52 week range is between 16 cents and 58 cents. Uh, currently we closed on Friday at 26 cents market cap of uh, just over $15 million, and the um, three-month average trading uh, volume of around 50,000 shares. Uh, the major shareholders, the management, um, own about 12.5% of the company. We have a number of ma major private investors who own about 25%, and Mag Silver, who has a 4.5% position in the company. We have four projects in uh, British Columbia, Canada, very large ground positions, uh, they offer us the potential for discovery of a very large gold copper porphyry system in BC. We have 10 exploration projects in Mexico, extremely large land positions again. Uh, we have active drill programs on our projects in Mexico and extremely high discovery potential on these projects. The question for most investors is why uh, you should buy or hold a cancel share. Uh, the main reason is upside leverage to silver, gold, copper, lead, and zinc prices as um, they, they improve as forecasted. Uh, improving economic conditions, again, would result in higher share prices. But primarily, the major upside is on discovery. That would be a multiple upside uh, based on a major discovery on one of our projects. And uh, because of our multiple projects, relatively low downside risk. You can see the share price evolution over the past year. It tracks the precious metal prices and the economic conditions. As you can see, there were two major silver corrections last year. You can see the drops in the share price with those silver corrections. And also in the um, last six to nine months, uncert economic uncertainty with the US and European debt crises, causing a drop in the, the resource sector uh, all, all through and also lower gold and silver prices. We have fairly high leverage to gold and silver prices and economic conditions. As you can see, the red line is the silver price in 2011. The blue line is the canister share price. When silver prices are increasing and economic and resource uh, sector is positive, we outperform them. When they're negative coming down, we are lower, so very high leverage to uh, precious metal prices and the economic conditions. But what really will drive uh, the value and what we are really looking for, the share price will go up with uh, precious metal prices and the economic conditions, but uh, based on discovery, I've put on this chart five companies that are working in the same area as we are in uh, Mexico, 
There is uh, Almaden Minerals, Levon Resources, Orco Silver, Camplatz Resources, Mag Silver. You can see that the general post-discovery market cap of these companies is over $150 million to $300 million. Canisil is now at $15 million. So if we have a major discovery similar to one of these discoveries on these, that these companies had, then you can expect a 5, 10, 15-fold increase in the share price. And that's, that is what we are really looking for and trying to create for our shareholders. So where is that discovery going to come from? As mentioned, we have seven Drew Ready projects, five of them in Mexico. Um, we have been working actively on all of them. Three of them uh, have been uh, drilled either last year or in the process of being drilled in the first quarter of this year. The first one, the Sandra Escobar project, is a project where we have adjacent claims with Pan American Silver. We have an operating agreement with Pan American Silver whereby Canisil is spending the first $1 million in exploration expenditures. And if following that, um, we earn 51% in Pan American's claims, and Pan American has a backing right to convert that into a 51% interest in the combined claims by paying Canisil $3 million in cash. In 2011, we've done a ZTEM survey, which has identified two large porphyry-type uh, um, signatures on the project. We've also done 1,800 meters of drilling, which has identified and confirmed four silver gold and silver vein systems on the project. So lots of potential on the project. We're close to the one million expenditure uh, to, for our earning with Pan American. And after that, it'll be uh, up to a decision for Pan American for a back in. Secondly, our La Esperanza project in uh, Zacatecas in Mexico. This is a project we like a lot. It's a very large project. It covers 20,000 um, 20, hectares, 200 square kilometers, uh, hosts four major vein systems. We have an option agreement with MAG Silver, where MAG is earning a 60% interest in the project for $5 million expenditures over four years. You can see on the Zacatecas uh, trend uh, in the distance, there's the Fresnillo uh, mine and Mag Silva Juan Scipio project. Closer in is Pan American Silva's La Colorada deposit. And in the foreground, First Majestic's La Paria mine. Across the valley, Grupo Mexico San Martin mine, a prolific area hosting large silver deposits. We have a lot of uh, uh, faith in this project. We have drilled it, extremely high-grade silver intercepts. We get uh, silver vein intercepts of 10 meters for 300 grams average silver and 2.5% lead and zinc, but zones within that which are grading over 2 kilos silver. Mag Silver has conducted a ZTEM survey, uh, very strong uh, magnetic signature and ZTEM signature going through the project area, and they have... Um, reviewed the vein systems and are very encouraged by the four vein systems we're seeing there. They are drilling on the southern vein system on the La Esperanza vein, recently announced the first uh, results from the first three drill holes on one section. It's a blind section where you don't see the vein on surface. You can see the vein rapidly widening with depth from about 85 centimeters at about 100 meters depth to about 10 meters at about 250 meters depth and also rapidly increasing in grade as they go down. So they're very excited about the results they're seeing in this vein, and we're hoping for a lot more of that coming from La Esperanza. This is a project we like a lot. We have a first-class partner on it. We have a lot of faith in MAG, and we think they're doing an outstanding job there. Uh, this, the third project, the Carina project with Pan American Silver, this is right next to Orco Silver's La Preciosa deposit. Pan American is uh, drilling there right now, and they're earning a 55% interest in the Carina project for $3.65 million expenditures over four, four years. Two other projects, large projects, are Salamandra project, which uh, we have drilled with very good silver, lead, silver and zinc intercepts. We have done a ZTEM survey, which shows a very large ZTEM signature on it, and uh, we feel that that, uh, that also has potential for hosting a very large project. And lastly, our Brenda project in uh, BC, which has the potential for hosting a very large gold copper porphyry uh, deposit, great infrastructure. We have permitted the 6,000 meter drill program there. We drilled it in 2007 with very good results increasing to depth, I think we, this, this has a potential for a large gold copper porphyry deposit as well. So to sum up, Canisil is a platform for creating shareholder value. The value added will be through discovery of gold, silver, base metal resources. 
We have multiple large projects and drill programs on these projects. We have industry leading partners, very high potential upside, and very low downside risk. And I'll take just two or three seconds just to show you a few pictures of our operation there. This is the ZTEM survey at, uh, at Sandra Escobar in progress with the helicopter based airborne survey, the helicopter flying over the area for the airborne survey, our drill program in 2011 at Sandra Escobar. Our geologist, Irma Enriquez, our director of operations in Mexico, who's here together with the Pan American Silver geologists on site, uh, drilling at our Salamandra project, and a couple of pictures of the ZTEM survey at Salamandra, and some recent very high grade showings we found as a result of the ZTEM survey at Salamandra, grading over 5% copper and 2 kilos silver in these uh, vein type structures. Thanks very much for your attention. It's a real pleasure. Thank you.